I wanted to ask you about something that Shug said in the episode five of his podcast. He basically blamed Puffy for destroying his neighborhood, um, Compton, by recruiting Southside Crips and having people um, fight with each other. Did you hear that? And do you have thoughts on him um, saying that that was the destruction of his neighborhood? Yeah, I don't agree with Shug on that. On that. Uh, Ah, these are the things I want to say for when she finally start talking about Reggie, but I'll just put it out there and I ain't going to go into too, too deep. But what destroyed the neighborhood, and she might know this, it's a girl named Deandre. Deandre? I know how to say your name. I'm just saying it so people know who I'm talking about. Gina and Paula. When y'all get that through your head, and then Misa. That's what destroyed the neighborhood. And when y'all can grasp that and y'all ready to really hear the reason that these niggas were at war with each other and fell out, y'all gonna be like, whoa. Whoa. We lost Biggie and Tupac. Behind pussy. Y'all gonna really, really, y'all gonna really, really be like, whoa. Because that's what it all really, the anger, the way people really couldn't talk and stop fucking with each other was behind. Let's get too touchy. Get too touchy of a situation. And so that's why I don't really like to put that out there and talk about it. But niggas is really, really, really in the know. Y'all know Red speaking the truth. I know a lot of you trolls on the internet don't understand them. Like, ah, yeah, ah. All right, y'all stay in your place. You're right. You're 100% right. But when I get the courage or pissed off enough to break this shit down to y'all, y'all gonna be like, whoa. <laughs> Trust me. Trust me. Now, y'all heard what he said about Spooktown, right? Well, y'all was like, damn, what is what she talking about? Then y'all, my nigga be listening, be listening, listening. Y'all remember I told y'all something about when Keefe was talking, when he was on the streets, I told y'all on lay off Keefe pretty much just talk about his stupidity and stuff, of going to court and stuff. But y'all remember when I told y'all about a nigga from Spooktown named Big Mike? <laughs> that shit got, got put in jail. That's what he's talking about. He ain't talking about PJ and L, because they don't know about that yet. I ain't got that mad yet to tell that story. That Keefe. What she was talking about, Big Mike from Spooktown. He's still in the feds. People in the comment section, y'all look it up. Y'all gonna y'all listen, troll the comment section. There's always somebody in the comment section to be like, maybe no one. But that's what broke up the neighborhood. That's what messed up the relationships. Is really behind those names that I mentioned earlier. And yeah, that's all I'm gonna say for now. So no, I don't agree that Puffy hired the Crips. He was supposed to, and the Crips was supposed to take the job. We did it when we went on the East Coast. We fuck with a nigga out there that was real connected, named Big D, with dreads. Eric B. Some dudes from Philly used to come and meet us out there and ride with us. Y'all hear what Pac and them did, what Fado and them homeboys did when they came in town with the boys from Jersey. That's all it go. You can't go into other people's towns 
Let me teach y'all something. Just because you from Compton, you ain't the baddest nigga in the world. Just because you from Atlanta, you ain't the gayest nigga in the world. <laughs> Had to throw that in. But just because you from New York, you ain't the toughest dude in the world. Or the South, or Chicago, all of that. There's gangsters in every town, everywhere. And so, but gangsters recognize gangsters. Y'all use the term real, recognize real. All right, I'll talk like y'all. And so, they go in networking and they deal with each other. And they go in network and make those relationships. And that's what happened. And you're supposed to do that because a nigga from Compton, we may sneak in and do something to you and sneak out. Ask Big Stretch. <laughs> but you don't just go up there and be hanging out in the club and be like, I want you, 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 and you. Hey, country boy, get out the way. I'm taking your woman tonight. No, 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 it don't go down like that. You better have some niggas with you to be like, hey, homie, chill. You know she's for the streets. <laughs> you know what she's about. Are they good? They with us. You better have that when you go to other people's towns. And that's all Puffy and them did through Corey and through Von Zilp. And then the relationship grew and they started doing some drug stuff. But that was mainly the, that's the, all the information y'all get from Gene Deal and all of that. It was about numbers. It was just about having people, when they doing shows, that was on that coast. I saw Suge and Puffy and all they don't cared about. So, but I'll let y'all stay in your world. I know a lot of y'all don't comprehend this video and these statements at all. <laughs> I know it. I get it. I can read the comments. I can see them already. Y'all stay in y'all world. I stay in my world. I stay out the way. <laughs> I don't claim to be either one. But I bet you as a motherfucker that ride that skateboard that you better not fuck with. Because I also watch... Uh, that show on TNT. God, dog, I can't think of it right now. Well, I like the white boys. They surfers and they be doing jacks and robberies and stuff. Uh, animal Kingdom or something like that. Kingdom Animal or Animal Kingdom. And uh, y'all know my favorite white boy character from Sons of Anarchy. Jack Taylor. Oh, my God. If he ain't the best killer in the world. <laughs> Woo. But yeah, so just trying to say things to make y'all relate. I can give a fuck about a white person, black person, or a blue person. I care about people. But that's all. Ready opinion.